Hi everybody, I'm Mike. And I'm Sarah. And we are going to get crafty today. Fall craft? What better craft to do uh, in the fall then? Then a little uh, leaf turkey for Thanksgiving. Because uh, of course we are now in the month of November, so uh, our next big holiday coming up is Thanksgiving. Yeah, and there's lots of these things out there. Yes, crazy enough uh, for some late season leaves for this year. Uh, All kinds of stuff that hasn't even changed color yet. So I, you have your choice of green and yellow and brown oh and God. whatever color you could want. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy fall. For sure. Turkey turkeys. I like turkey. I'm looking forward to I Thanksgiving dinner. Stuffing cranberries. Do you have a go-to for Thanksgiving turkey? Uh, see, I'm actually not the biggest fan of the turkey itself. Okay. Do you but have a side? I love the side dishes. Oh, I love uh -huh. like the Brussels sprouts with Brussels like the pecans. Ooh. Like a little bit of cinnamon crusted. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. So it's a good time. Uh, Okay, let's get into it. Let's make right. our turkey. So, uh, for our turkey craft today, you need, of course, some leaves. We have um, leaves. We are using fake leaves from the dollar store, but you can also just go out to your yard. Plenty of leaves to pick from. There are lots. Uh, just make sure they're dry. So, if, you know, it's been, you know, kind of rainy on and off. You know, it's fall. Right. So, just make sure to dry them out before you try and glue them, otherwise, they'll start to mold, and we don't want that. No. Um, no so, leaves. we want leaves. We Probably need leaves. some brown, red, and yellow construction paper. Brown's going to be the body, I think, right? Uh, you're on to it, Mike. All right, yellow, maybe the yeah, beak. You got it. Oh, that. that's a little gobbler. What do they call it? It's the gobbler. We got the more gobbler. Little wow. 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 Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, we need a paper plate. This will be your turkey span base. Um, and then you need something to hang it with. So we just have some red yarn here. Right in the window, in the door, maybe. Yeah, your little turkey Welcome window hanger. people. Um, and then a Sharpie if you want to draw on the eyes with it. Or you can also use googly oh, eyes, our favorite. googly eyes, absolutely. And uh, for our purposes, we're using hot glue, just so it sticks. But you can also use your favorite craft glue, Elmer's glue. Whatever feels right in your heart. Oh. So uh, let's get started then. Let's do first it. things first, we need our paper plates or styrofoam plates. You can use those too. Um, cut them in half. And if yours is already cut in half, mine is. It's amazing. Oh my God. The next step that we'll be doing turkey prepper. is our little turkey bodies. I'm going to make the turkey bodies. You're going to take your, since we're going to make two, I'm going to take my brown piece of paper I'm going to fold it in half. And with one cut, I'm going to get two bodies. It's amazing. <laughs> awesome. The magic of crafting. All right, I think <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to go this way. It's kind of like a bowling ball shape, right, Mike? Yes, a bowling yeah. ball shape. I like it. That so if you can good. picture what a bowling ball looks like with a thin little head and a fat body. That's wow, it. here goes my bowling ball shape. <laughs> looky, looky. Not horrible. And there are our turkey bodies. There, have your turkey oh, body. And you can share with the body. Oh, look at that. How perfect. Oh, that's a good Alrighty. I'm going to shake them down a little bit. All right. Yeah, maybe we'll just, yeah. I feel like my turkey is going to be too fat for my paper plate. So if you have a bigger paper plate, we have tiny paper plates. Um, that would be a perfect turkey for your paper plate. Super. Beautiful. Oh Love it. God. Gorgeous. Um, so anyways, our next step. <laughs> will be to start decorating your turkey's tail feathers. Let's do that. What you're gonna need here is just an assortment of leaves. As you can see on our example, we kind of layered them in different color rows. You don't have to do that. You can just stick all the leaves on there that you want, or you can, if you want it to be orderly, layer the leaves in according to color. So I'm gonna pick a couple of leaves out of our handy dandy leaf pile here. Awesome. Um, and you wanna start on your back row first, because as, as you go, you have to layer over it. Um, so I'm going to use some bigger first. leaves for my back row, okay. just so that they cover the edges of my plate, and I'm not seeing that white poking through. If you are worried, you can also just paint this first, but you don't. You don't have to don't for have our to purposes. Going the leaves should cover it, and if you are choosing to work with hot glue, be careful. Careful, it's hot. hot. <laughs> There's a reason it's called hot glue. Oh boy. Getting all kinds of little strings over. Do we by any chance have fun turkey facts today, Mike? Well, we do. <gasps> do you know that the turkey mm -hmm. who makes lots of crazy little sounds like He's amazing. 
Right? You like that? Nice. That's pretty good. Not yeah. bad. All right, yeah, I the like turkey, turkey was... I like the turkey in the room. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> um, do we have glue dots? Glue dots. We do have glue dots. I'm in trouble with my uh, oh, glue no. dots. So, Your hot technical difficulties. So, yeah, you know, the tur turkey was almost our national bird. What? Yeah, before it was the uh, the bald eagle. I think it was... Uh, the humble turkey. Yeah. Mm. But, uh, I guess Ben Franklin didn't like the turkey too much, so... We ended up falling back to the bald eagle, but it was almost the turkey. Wow, I don't know how I would have felt about eating my uh, national, national symbol <laughs> every year for Thanksgiving. Right. What do you think if it had happened? Would we still be eating turkey? <laughs> or would we eat bald eagle? Maybe. maybe it could have been a quail. <laughs> Ooh. A pheasant, maybe. Who mm -hmm. knows? Not a lot of meat on those. the butterfly effect of <laughs> turkeys. Um, uh, what I else? Running out of hot glue. Well, turkeys can see like crazy, like 50 times better than humans. Yeah, they I've heard that. They have excellent eyesight. Very, very good eyesight. Which uh, I'm sure for people that want to eat them can be difficult. And for you, you know, folks that always hear, you know, turkeys gobble, only the boys gobble. Girls don't gobble. Girls don't gobble. Girls don't, they're not gobblers. <laughs> only Just boys the gobble. Boys. <laughs> They fan out and they gobble, gobble, gobble to impress the girls. Alright. That's their deal. So we're still layering here. I've got my first layer down. Uh, we're just going to keep layering. We're layering. As we we're go. in layer mode. Yeah. I'm excited to see uh, the turkey pardoning this year. The who? The turkey pardon. Oh, that's right. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, I always tune in to uh, the, what's the White House. The president pardons one turkey that won't get eaten. What? Lucky I'm always guy. interested to see how fat they are. Because <laughs> you, ne you never know. <laughs> right. All right. Oh, yeah, we are. We have had a hot glue here today. There we go. Guess we're moving on to regular glue. Let's do that. Because <laughs> I'm killing these glue dots. Oh, boy. Right. We're having lots of technical difficulties. <laughs> I am a... Uh, I'm really looking forward to Thanksgiving dinner. I, I am. Although I've heard word on the street, this is going to be one of the most expensive Thanksgivings out there. Supplies are down. Yeah. Supplies are down. Get your turkeys now. Right now. Right? Go out and get your turkey. Before you turkeys. run out. Would you mind passing the, uh, the glue? Oh, oh my gosh. Our uh, craft station over here. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm almost done with my first I'm layer almost, here. Right. We're getting there. We're getting there, folks. So, yeah, again, you just want to try and then create a second layer on your turkey. If you are working with wet glue, um, just be patient with it. It'll need time to dry. Thank you. So, don't get frustrated if they don't stick very easily. They are leaves. Hey, again, don't forget to uh, log on to, you know, uh, www.lakebdd.org. Right? Yeah. Check out our website. Sign up for lots of cool stuff that we got going on. You can stay in tune with what the rec department's up to and what our agency is doing in general, right? right. Lots of cool stuff going yeah. on. Lots of things to clip into. What is Check it what, out. The, what the cool kids say? Like and subscribe. That's right. <laughs> Click below. Like and subscribe. Click below. All right. I have tried to stick my leaves as best as possible to layer it. Oh, you are way ahead of me. I yes. have the advantage of hot glue and then the disadvantage of uh, yeah. know, regular Elmer's glue. So you can see how those different things pan out. All right. I'm going to try to get... Yeah. I think that the, the uh, what the call it? Glue dots were a good move for this one, for sure. Shout out to Kara. Kara and her glue dots. I was All right. Thinking. So I'm going to set this aside. Maybe this hot glue will work here. Oh, there we go. Trying to stick those last couple of leaves. There we go. I'm having mask problems today. There we go. Second glue difficulty is all around. All right. So as we are finishing decorating these, our next step will be to decorate our turkey's body. Um, so for me, I'm just going to size him up, make sure he's going to fit nicely onto my little turkey frame. I actually might just give him a real quick trim. Because oh we have some small paper plates. I'm definitely, I'm definitely struggling here. <laughs> I am struggling with my. That's all right. Who does? 
It's one of those days, huh? Yeah. This, this glue gun did start working. Did it? If you were interested in this one, yeah. Oh, yeah, what's... It's hot glue for this, if you're trying to do it quickly, is a game changer. Oh, there we go. But in the meantime, while Mike decorates, I'll show you how to do the turkey body. So what you're going to need is some yellow paper. I'm just going to cut a square out of it for the turkey's beak. And it's okay if it's not exactly symmetrical, you can fix that. So mine's more rectangular. And then I'm just going to fold it diagonally. So pinch two corners together. And then I'm just going to trim the edges so that it lines up. Cut right along those diagonal lines so that I have a big old turkey beak. I'm then going to line up where I want his beak. And I'm just going to glue that. This works great with a uh, Perhaps not hot glue, but just regular craft glue. Line that up. And then you have the option to either draw on some turkey eyeballs or use googly eyes. I love googly eyes. Googly, please. So Boy, googly eyes exactly. all the way. You can choose whatever size feels right in your heart. Mike, would you like medium, small, or big eyes? Oh, I'm really big googly eyes. Big googly eyes. <laughs> Turkey's gonna be, they got such great eyes like those. <laughs> well, you know what? We just got back from a really cool place too, Camp Finch. We did. Finch? Finch. 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 Yeah, that Something. was really cool. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's a great time. And uh, we didn't see any turkeys, but we did find lots of acorns. <laughs> we did find acorns. That and there cool. were all kinds of little farm critters there. It was a good time. It was a good time. Those are some cool things to look at on the uh, website, brochure, brochure signups. Um, yeah, we still got lots of stuff happening for fall uh, if you want to sign up. And if not, then look forward to our winter brochure coming up sometime here in the near future. Yeah, pretty soon. Yeah, uh, probably coming involved. out here before the end of December. Oh, I'm happy now with my fan. All right, so now I'm back on. All right, back online. So here we go. <laughs> All right. Just put some googly eyes on my turkey. Mm -hmm. I made him a beak. And now I'm going to make that little red waddle. All right. So to do that, I'm kind of just going to make a worm. So I'm going to squiggle it with my scissors. And make what looks to be like a little worm. And then at the very end, I'm going to curve it so that it'll fit over the beak. Kind of like the worm decided to change direction, like fat lunch or something. All right, my two googly eyes are different sizes here. Now I'll glue that. Oh, are they? Yeah. I apologize. Oh. I did my best. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, it may be really big. Wow, I am struggling with this mask today. All right. That's all right. Because it's close enough. We're both still being safe. Safe is good. Safety first, my friends. <clears throat> all right. All right. No, I lost the other glue. Then I've glued the waddle above my turkey's beak. The beak, which uh, doesn't move up and down. <laughs> See, he was like, whoa! <laughs> uh -huh. Add a little to it. Awesome. He's like, hey, guys. Hey. <laughs> All right. And then our final, or not the final step, but our next step will then, once we decorate the turkey, will be to glue it to our beautiful little... Uh, mm. turkey plumage, his feathers. What do we do? What do we do for the beak? Oh, I like So the for the beak, you're going to cut a square. square. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And then you're going to pinch the two corners together. Pinch in the corners together. Yep. And, and then you'll just trim so whatever's, yeah, whatever's not neat, you just trim. Oh. To make it. Perfect. Yep. It's correcting. So oh even if your beak's God. a little wiggly wobbly, that's okay. Right. Oh, excellent. I don't know if we have much hot glue left, not really. And then we're going to glue our turkey body to our feathers. Now, I put a piece of glue down here and then went up closer to the head. Because if you don't put a piece of glue near the head, he's just going to flop down. Um, but if you use felt or something a little bit stronger than construction paper, it might actually stay. Ooh. I know, his ideas. All right. <laughs> All right. And then our next and final step 
would be if you have a hole puncher, you can cut a hole in the top of this fan. If you don't have a hole puncher, you Whoa. carefully can use your scissors to make a hole by pinching and just doing a cut with your scissors. Now, again, watch your fingers when you do that. But pinch, and then you'll have a little hole. Awesome. In the and that you can put whatever string you want through. Um, we're using red string because that's what we had available, but I'm sure twine would look really great for Thanksgiving. Uh, brown string, or you could use fishing line if you wanted it to kind of blend in. Ooh, and I'm then saying. I just push it through and tie it off. I'm very excited to see what Mike's turkey is. Oh, my like. turkey is awesome. There's lots of. He lots is of turning out to there. be something special. You know, Chris would love this turkey. He would. He would. Only Chris he, he always here loves. Oh, his head fell off. Oh no. Oh, I'll put it back together. All right. Oh boy. He's so Mike is doing the final step where he is putting the hole for the hanger, right? Oh, hanger. Hole hanger. Hanger's going in. Oh yes. All right. And there's lots of things you can do with these turkeys. You can make a bunch of them and thread them together on the sides to make like a turkey garland for Thanksgiving. You can write people's names on them in the middle. Maybe wow. use it as like a Thanksgiving like place setter. You know, you can have like Mike and Sarah That's so people bad. know where to sit for your Thanksgiving meal. You can kind of make a bunch of them go in a circle to have a Thanksgiving wreath. Or you can just hang gobble, them gobble, gobble. as a simple decoration. Hey, well, what an awesome, cool activity. Right? Sarah, once again, you've knocked it out of the park. Incorporating nature. Something, oh, there he goes. Oh, man. Glue's got to dry. So if you're using wet glue, it's a good example. Don't try to hang your turkey right away. Let them dry. Oh. <laughs> hey, so once again, thank you. Great activity. LakeBDD.org. Check us out. Check out the brochure. Hey, stay safe. Keep crafting. And uh, have a happy, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble. See you guys.